Okay, now we are talking about advanced formulas. So we have a few advanced formulas to go through, but I would like for you to read through the explanation because it would be better for you to grasp and understand advanced formulas when you actually read through the explanation and we can go through the challenge together to cross check how you can complete the challenge if you are unable to complete it on your own. So on this particular section, we are talking about the checkbox formula. So it discusses about the if, and, not, and or logic functions. So please read through this, the and, how it will result true or false. Same thing with the or, how it will result true or false, the not function, and lastly, the if function. So you can go through this in your um, own time, in your mind, go through the logic here. It pretty much self-explanatory, so it's, it's, it's not confusing. So please go through this and let's do the challenge together. So we have an enhanced on challenge create a validation rule indicating whether an opportunity has a close date in the past. So let's go. I'm going to go up and launch my hands on org over here. Open on a new tab. And admin advance our clean. I'm going to make this a default now. Edit this guy, make this a default and save. We have moved on to advance. This is a clean new trailhead playground. So let's go back to our challenge here. Create a validation rule indicating whether an opportunity has a close date in the past. So it's a validation rule. You are advanced admin now. I'm going to hit allow here. So you would know where to navigate, right? Set up and then go to object manager opportunity object you can search over here opportunity object and validation rules at the bottom here all right what should we name the validation rule close date alert let's copy this guy New one, new validation rule, close date cannot be in the past, right? Close date alert. Close date cannot be in the past, okay? Now, the validation rule should fire if is closed, is not selected, and close date is yesterday or earlier, okay? should fire if clo is closed is not selected. Let's do that first. Is closed is not selected, okay? Is closed is a field, um, opportunity is closed. It's a stage, so close here, is closed. Is closed is not selected so not is closed right not is closed and closed date is yesterday or earlier so the closed date is in the past yesterday or earlier so if is closed and today this day today minus close date the, the date of the close date today minus close date is greater than zero that's a bad data we don't want that right 
because if today minus close date is greater than zero, meaning close date is in the past, right? We don't want close date in the past. And close date is yesterday or earlier. So we don't want that, okay? Let's, so is close is no, no, not is close and today minus close date greater than zero. Let's check the syntax. No errors found. Now, what do we want to alert? Hey, McFly, unless you're planning to go back in time, please update your close date at the top of the page. Okay, let's copy this. Hey, McFly, at the top of the page. Top of the page, right? And we are going to save this. and done so it's active so i want to try it out so if i go here or even even just go here and go to an opportunity and make one make a new one so close date is yesterday so close date is december 31st today is the new year happy new year actually happy new year 2020 so the stage is closed, um, close one. So it's closed, right? And the date is yesterday. This will trigger it. So trigger it when should fire if it's closed is not selected. Oh, if it's closed is not selected and closed date is yesterday. So it's not selected. So I'm just gonna choose prospecting, but then the close date is like it's already closed. It's yesterday, right? So this would trigger the alert. Let's try to save it. Is there any other required field? No. Nope. Oh, the name. It's test. There. Hey, McFly. Unless you're planning to go back in time, please update your close date. Oh. All right. So let's make it close. If it's close, it can be in the past because it's closed, right? Save. Works as expected and we can check the challenge so next is about numbers currency and percentage in formulas i'll see you in the next video bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom